Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, we're doing something awesome. Something I've wanted to do since we went full time. As you know, probably saw one of our, our video before about the, the Davy Crockett Grill from Green Mountain. Uh, Green Mountain Grills. And today, we're gonna do a pork butt. With, and slow smoke it, probably eight to 10, maybe even 12 hours. I don't know, we'll see how long it takes. But I'll, I'll kind of take you through the process and hopefully we come out with something pretty good at the other end. So stick around. So today for this smoke, um, we're gonna use the premium fruit wood. And uh, it's a fruit wood blend, 100% pure hardwood. And it's got uh, orchard cherry, American beech, and some good old sweet pecan, which we love in Texas. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it works out. Okay, so now that we know what kind of pellets we're using, I'll show you how easy it is to use this grill. And it's really cool because it works off an app, a Green Mountain app and it's a Wi-Fi enabled device. So it has its own Wi-Fi. And once you set up on your phone that Wi-Fi, you have already downloaded the Green Mountain app. So I go to the app. Now you can operate this out here manually too, but the, the app is cool. <laughs> okay, so in the app, I just tell it I want to power on the device. I confirm it right here. And you can see it, it turned it on. So, now what's gonna happen is it goes through a series of startup stuff to, to light the, the, the part in there and get the wood going. And the grill comes up to 150 degrees first. That's how it starts. And then once it hits 150, I'll show you, we'll go back into our phone and we'll set the temperature of the grill that we want it to be. We're gonna grill this pork butt at 250 degrees. Uh, and we're also gonna use the, uh, the uh, meat probe so we know the temperature and we're gonna cook it to 200 degrees. So we'll actually be able to tell that 200 so as I keep track of it on my phone, it's gonna tell me exactly when the meat gets to 200 degrees. So then we'll be able to take it off and hopefully enjoy some good pork butt. So stick around. Okay, so our grill's come up to its temperature. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna set 250 and say confirm. So now it'll come up to 250, and what I'm gonna do while that's coming up to 250, I'm gonna take you over here and show you the rub that we're gonna put on the, uh, the butt, and, and we'll go, you know, we'll have it ready to go in, and we'll set our internal temperature on that when we put it on the grill. The rub I'm using today is it equal parts of salt, smoked paprika, onion powder, and pepper. And you can use, we use sea salt in here, but a lot of people use kosher salt. So, I mean, whatever you prefer. But um, that's, that's what we've got. And I'm just gonna lather this on thick. I'll get the rest of this coated and we'll come back and I'll show you putting it on the grill. Okay, we're back. Now we do have our, our pork butt, the rub all over it, so it's ready. Our grill is ready at temperature. It's at 250 degrees. You not only know that on there, but obviously, 
Also, on your app, once it reconnects here, and every time you open it, it'll reconnect, and you'll see it's at 250 degrees. So you know we're at temperature. So now we're gonna put our fork butt on, we're gonna put in our meat probe, and we're gonna set the meat temperature to 200. Also wanted to let you know that we're in beautiful Paladuro Canyon State Park. Uh, it's a Texas State Park up in the Panhandle. And, and uh, this is where we're, we're doing this. I mean, you can be out camping and that's the, the awesome thing about this grill is we're gonna be able to smoke something for 10 or 12 hours right here in this beautiful scenery of a state park. So let me get our pork bud. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is, that's seven and a half pounds, by the way, seven and a half pounds. So it's a little bigger than I thought. It may take us a little longer than we expected, but that's okay. So here we go. on and I'll show you we have a little slot here on the side to run our meat probe through Gonna run our meat probe there we go our meat probe is in plug that in got a quick paper towel to wipe my hand off with and on my phone again of course that's not going to work because my hand is full of that so I'm going to open up the the uh, Green Mountain Grill again let it reconnect and then I'm going to set the probe temperature to 200 degrees. I'm going to confirm. And now it tells me on here that we want to keep the temperature on the grill at 250, but we want to stop grilling at 200. So it's going to alert me when it's ready. So it's, I mean, it's that easy. And we're going to also, we're going to make a little uh, sauce to baste it with every so often. I like to leave it on two to three hours before I ever lift the lid to give it a good start and then we'll, we'll baste every so often and give it a little more flavor but uh, I mean that's it that's easy. Almost, it's almost set it and forget it. I mean that's uh, hopefully it comes out good we'll see. This is the first one we've done on this um, and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, so we've been on approximately three hours, so I wanna go ahead and mop it. I made some mop sauce, apple cider vinegar, uh, some Worcestershire sauce, some beer, and red pepper flakes is what I used. But, I mean, you can make whatever your favorite type is. But, so, let's see what it looks like. Oh wow, that looks pretty good. Keep it going. Okay, so we've been in a little over five hours. I wanted to tell you at the four hour mark, I turned my temperature down to 225. 
uh, from 250. To me, it was cooking a little bit too fast, so I wanted to try to slow it down. Um, uh, our the app is still working well, and again, we're out in the middle, basically of nowhere. We have no Wi-Fi signal out here, so this is working great uh, with the Green Mountain Grill Wi-Fi. So. I, I controlled it and when I changed the temperature, I just changed it on my phone and changed it down to 225 and it made its way down to 225. So that's that, but I wanna show you also, if you want to change, if you wanna check it or change it manually, see right now it's showing us the 225 temperature and I could go up or down if I needed to. And also, if I hit food, it shows me the temperature of the food right now. So it's 177, 178 degrees. So you can do it manually as well if you don't, if you're not comfortable with the cell phone or whatever, or don't have a smartphone. Now, I'm gonna put a little more mop sauce on here. You can hear that, that grill's going. It's a big old piece of meat. I also moved my thermometer on at, at the four hour mark and do a little bit different piece on the meat to get a little more accurate reading, I think. What I mean by accurate is on a on a, a roast like this, um, a pork butt. There's a lot of fat in it, and and I think I probably had uh, my thermometer going into a piece of fat, which will show it as hotter than what it really was. So I wanted to readjust that. I think we're I think we're solid now. So we'll check back with you after a while. There we are, 200 degrees, it just notified me. I guess it's gonna be delayed here on the phone because that's from here. Let me see. Phone says 200 degrees. So, now we'll take that off. Put this over here. Take this off and cover it. We're going to cover this for two uh, for an hour. Shut that. Let me see. Then we'll already have it in a pan so we can pull it all apart. So all in all, our cook time was about six hours and 45 minutes. I think next time I'll do it at 225 the whole time. It'll probably take it to eight to nine hours, which I'd like to cook it a little slower. It looks, it smells awesome. Uh, I think it's still gonna be really good. So we have an hour here to kill and we thought, what can we do for an hour? Cook on the grill, and Stacy came up with the idea, let's do some corn on the cob. So 
we had these soaking for about 20 or 30 minutes and we're going to put them on we already have our grill hot at 225 so i'm going to keep it at that and i think it'll roast it fine we'll turn the corn like a quarter turn every 10 or 15 minutes and so then when the pulled pork is ready to pull we'll have roasted corn ready to eat with it that's two for one yes <laughs> okay so let's give her a try let's see what we got here it's been an hour Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> she just snuck a little bit. I'm going to try a little bit. Wow. We're going to we're going to plate that in just a minute. I want to show you real quick. Stacy will come around. Our corn's been cooking. It's been roasting. Look at there. It's nice and dried out, and it's done. That's going to be awesome. We're going to have that, too. We just got to husk that. And this is real easy to turn off. It's quick. Just push the power button, and it'll kind of cycle itself down. The real nice thing, too, about this Davy Crockett grill is it cools down real quick. Not like a charcoal grill where the charcoals are still hot and it takes a while. This cools down real quick. So um, a nice, neat little advantage when you're out, you know, if you're, obviously if you're tailgating, it's always a problem to get that thing to cool down quick. And it, and it does, it cools down quick. So Stacy and I'll plate it up. We'll kind of uh, show it to you at Plate It Up and we'll go from there. All right, so we're all plated up. We're gonna give her a try. The barbecue sauce we used is uh, Stan's Hot Barbecue Sauce. And <laughs> this was a neighbor of ours at Copper Break State Park for several days. Him and his wife were in the fifth wheel next to us and they follow our channel. And when he was leaving, he stopped by, knocked on the door, and brought us a bottle of his barbecue sauce. They're, we didn't even know it, but they're competition barbecue people. So I hope we can, yeah, hopefully we can see them at a future barbecue competition because we like to do those, or would like to go to some of those. So let me, let me give this a try. Very good. And the corn really came out nice. Mm. When you do the corn on the grill, it gets so sweet. I love it. That's my favorite way to do corn. Hey, if you like this video, come on, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notice so you can get notified when we come out with new videos. We publish a video, if this is your first time finding us, we publish a video every Wednesday and every Sunday at 10 a.m. Wednesday's a little bit different because it's called Winging It, and they're short videos. And um, we'll get that one <laughs> out of the picture, but they're, they're just short videos, and... Um, they're just about a single topic, and Stacy and I just wing it for 10 minutes. So, until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.